time is. Yeah, it should be something like that. Uh, hi, I'm Josh, and this is Andrew, and uh, we're Cyrus, and... Um, this is our first video. Yes, this is our first video. Um, it's in my studio for today. Um, other videos are probably going to be in Andrew's little corner of the world, and maybe some guest studios, and wherever we sort of feel like it. But today, we're in my studio, so... Um, we'll show you some of my little sound toys and some of the ways that we produce music and you get a little sneak peek at the way things work around here. Okay, this is my studio um, where most of Cyrus work gets done. Um, there's nothing super special secret in here at all. There's no secret to this stuff. Um, I use what everybody else uses. I've got a controller keyboard, another controller keyboard, um, you know, some little goodies, um, a couple of little preamps and some preamp stuff um, where I'm going to record my vocals here in this little booth and of course the, the panels help for the whole vocal recording thing in the room. Um, you know, DJ stuff. Uh, you know, there isn't any super secret gear here. It's all, you know, it's all what you would find in any sort of small electronic music producer studio. Cyrus started off as a uh, Terry EBM and um, uh, industrial sort of project, industrial dance, and uh, now it's sort of branching off into other other dark genres and sort of combining the genres together. And we're trying to uh, to bring complex rhythm oriented genres and and electro house oriented stuff uh, into that industrial dance sort of sound and combine them so that they sound fresh and interesting. And uh, we're basically trying to bring. Um, some really new school stuff into a genre that's been done to death and, and reinvigorate it and make it awesome. Awesome. Our tastes have expanded over the years and so we're trying to take all the little bits that we like from different things and mash into something. Yeah, that's, that's uh, right. That, 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 yeah, still yeah. fits. These days it's not uncommon to see two or three different kinds of genres all in the one track and massive uh, you know, speed changes and time signature changes and things all happening um, all in one track. And I think a couple of years ago that would have been really weird, but... Um, Especially in mainstream music. Yeah, absolutely. But now I've heard pop go into halftime dub and back again and things. It's just all changing now. So. Some of the fidget stuff is just crazy. I'm going to do a couple of videos on... Um, modifying some of our toys. I got this the Speak and Spell unit here. It's a Speak and Spell Texas Instruments toy from I think it's 19... 1980. See? It says here 1980. 1980. Um, Older than I am. Now no one can see you, Andrew. You've got a Speak and Spell head. Ah! This I uh, will be circuit bending and I'm going to make a little video about it uh, because it's very um, awesome. This particular toy has a history of being circuit bent and so just for good old time's sake and for that kind of classical circuit bent sound I'm going to have one. You can get lots of sample packs of circuit bent um, speak and spell units and um, that's kind of cool but to have our own to sample freely and you know to muck around with freely is going to be awesome. So I'm going to do a video on that. I'm going to do some experimental stuff with contact microphones and we have like uh, some like a guitar pickup and some other even more experimental looking microphones. These little little wire microphones that uh, that respond to vibration. We can wrap them around stuff and might do some of that as well. Um, so that's going to be awesome. And you'll see how we make some more of our ambient sounds. A lot of our dance sounds, are, you know, they're made with with uh, the kind of more typical sample pack oriented stuff that you might find but we're always cutting and chopping experimental recorded stuff uh, well I am anyway, I'm always in here recording stuff um, and uh, just ripping pieces of paper and, and all kinds of things there's a little list on our bio of some of the things that I can remember we doing beatboxing into a lunchbox and, and weird things like that um, and it'd be cool to document some of this because um, as you can see I kind of don't even remember some of the stuff that I've been doing to get those sounds some of them are kind of crazy and I, I barely remember how I got them um, whereas now they're on camera and people can go oh that's kind of cool or we're gonna end up with a whole bunch of sounds that are just kind of crap and you know useless it's filters are it well yeah I mean we just side chain a kick drum to it and but, make a new genre yeah <laughs> okay this is a contact microphone. Um, you usually put this on um, guitars and that sort of thing as the pickup. And this is electric toothbrush. And this is the contact microphone on the electric toothbrush. <laughs> being recorded. And uh, now this is the toothbrush in my mouth on the guitar pickup for Cyrus Crazy Effects. <laughs> Instant 
relaxing pads. And of course, you don't get the sound of the electric toothbrush actually running with the contact microphone. So if you just put this up near the speaker instead to get away from the motor noise, if I put this behind my back or something like that, there we go. It's not on the big tin. The, the big tin? Yeah. Oh yeah, I like see, that. See if it's a different note. <laughs> what do you do with these vlog things? How do you do these vlog things? Vlog, blog. Blah 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 blah. Anyway.